It's a, it's a, it's a lovely, tragic, romantic a ballad. Think of Bob Dylan, guys. When you're pretty much, you know, who I'm trying to get at. Bob Dylan, think of that. Think of, uh, think of blowing in the wind. Think of... Um, I think that's it. <laughs> She 
ran down the stairs to get to the door with her boot, I could see her guy. It's hard being an orchestrator person. Face down in the land still. No sign of the horse, only in the air chill. And her paw against the windowsill in his hands a gun. Got that one, he grinned. Head pinned to the wall, dead laces trodden in trousers like turnips. A vest, fat, squeezing at the seams, he was a cannibal's dream. And his daughter, only 16, ran to the cowboy and held him and cried, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then she kissed and closed his eyes and wiped her own, his cordial, his, his body sank. The ground employed her guy, love now unshy. And now she goes a rambling over 20 ribbons in her hair. And wherever she be on her travels, those the people, they sort of point and stare. Whisper then and there that she killed her own papa with a single strap of leather. And these stories, they are chased home until they're stuck at the junction, concluding, canoodling, and making assumptions. Taken no time to get to know her or her cowboy that got that scar and no rage, no menace. No war, just slipped like any other kid on the curb when he was four. And the saddest of tales is tall but frail, unspoken, unimagined and cooked in somebody's head just as well. <laughs>